What the hell is up, Internet boys and girls? My name is CJ Sloan, but you already knew that, and your name is... Uh, actually, I don't know, because it's kind of kind of like a kind of like a one-way deal here. I'm trying to get something off my chest. I'm trying not to be judged, okay? I just want to kind of release this tension that I feel in my body that's just been writhing. Writhing, that's a good word. Look that word up. It's a synonym to uh, other words that are probably better. I apparently like sports ball. Let me explain. Not too long ago, I went to a baseball game. It was the LA Dodgers versus the Detroit Tigers. I know the names of them. I know the I know the the animals. I don't think Dodgers are animals, actually. That's but why isn't it an animal? Isn't that like a requirement? Isn't it kind of like a requirement? Your sports team is supposed to be uh, something that a person can 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 get into and wear as a mascot. I don't know what a what a Dodger is. Is it just a, a Dodge truck that they just drive around the field? Because I don't remember that part. That would have been freaking incredible. I promise you that no matter what time period of the year you're watching this video, it's probably sports ball season because every single season is sports ball season. They even found a way to do sports ball during the winter. They took a burnt hamburger patty and threw it on the ground and pushed it around with sticks and they're like, ah, it's called hockey. And I'm pretty sure that the winter was specifically designated for video games, movies, reading, and all around just not doing things. Any time of the year that you want, as a sports ball, it's, it's happening. It's happening, it's happening near you, it's coming for you, and believe it or not, there's probably a sports ball that you like, and you don't even know it. That's what's happened to me, you know what I mean? They say the same thing about drugs, there's like, there's a drug for you, and you just don't know it. It's the same thing as sports ball. It's the same thing as sports ball. There are so many sports balls. There's one for you. There's a sports ball for you, and I promise you can find it if you take the time, and you take the effort. Don't take the time or the effort. Just let it happen. Just let it happen naturally. Don't don't force it. You know what I mean? That's how it happened for me. That's how I want it to happen for you. I don't want you to spend countless hours on ESPN just watching, trying to find out just which sports tickles you pink. I don't think that's a thing people say. I want it to happen naturally for you because when it does, it's gonna be magical. So here I am at this baseball game watching the LA Dodgers versus the Detroit Tigers and I am getting into it. I'm liking this game. I'm 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 paying attention to the score. I'm learning players' names. I'm learning acronyms out here, okay? I'm searching RBIs and I'm looking up MVP, which is just most valuable player. I don't know how I didn't, I didn't like that one was it, it's the same thing for sports that it is for how other people use it in real life. It's it's just a metaphor. I googled pitcher and catcher during this game. I got some results that I was not expecting, but after a while I was able to figure out which results were actually baseball related and you know, it worked out, it was fine. But like low key, and when I say low key, I am not talking about Tom Hiddleston, I am talking high key. I was getting into this and I was rooting for the Dodgers. Sorry Detroit Tigers fans, most of my family's from California, shout out. Like I kind of had to root for the Dodgers, it's in my blood. I really like their color scheme. Their color scheme is neat, so I'm gonna be rooting for them. You know what I mean? I really do think that I like sports ball all along. And the reason that I wasn't able to get on board originally was because it was all around me and I really didn't like the jock douchebags in high school. Like, I couldn't stand them. So sports kind of just became this thing that I loathed, no matter what form it was in. When they even started making video games into eSports, I was like, oh, they're taking it from us. This was ours and you're taking it. <sighs> I have kind of been going in with an open mind to sports now. I've been kind of paying attention and seeing what I like. What I said before about not knowing the rules and everything, that was kind of a joke. I grew up in a very athletic family, so I know all the rules to all the sports, you know, when my friends would joke about like, oh, uh, did, did he get a field goal? And they'd be talking about basketball. Like, I know the difference between the sports. I know how they're played. I have just always avoided them as much as possible. So I've determined a couple things about myself and sports and our relationship together. I like baseball if I'm watching a physical game. I don't like watching it on TV for some reason. I also really like playing basketball a lot. I've actually liked that for like a couple years now, just kind of playing basketball with my friends, nothing too serious, you know, just for fun. I actually like watching soccer. I've always held soccer up as one of the best sports because it's a sport that the entire world plays. 
but I have always shit on people who watch soccer because it seemed really boring. The score would end up 1-0, everyone is passing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, no one's really making any headway, it doesn't seem like anything's going on, everybody seems really really tired. I will say this, soccer players probably take more shit than most sports ball players. You can at me on that, you can get at me if you want to on that. They have no padding, they have no protective gear whatsoever. They get kicked straight in the teeth and they just spit the blood out and they're like, all right, I'm ready to go, let's play another round. Soccer players do not mess around, man. Football, yeah, um, I like no part of it. It's just the same plays it seems like again and again and again and again. It just seems like every football game is the same, okay? Every play seems insignificant unless it's a big play, in which case, yeah, let's freak out if someone just did a 90-yard touchdown. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Watching someone dodge, weave in and out of people, that's pretty cool. But when that happens once every hour, it seems like in football there are too many players. That's my problem with football. There's like two guys that are important. The guy throwing the ball and the guy catching the ball. I know that there has to be a couple guys who are catching the ball, you know what I mean? The, the quarterback has to have options as to who he's throwing to, but the middle part where everyone's just kind of smashing into each other, that seems pointless. I don't know why we're doing that. Like, I'm pretty sure we could take football teams and cut them in half and it would be a lot more exciting. There'd be a lot more running. There'd be a lot less people just hugging each other, I think. I feel like those are kind of the significant sports. I don't really pay any attention to like hockey or like boxing or NASCAR because why would I? Let me talk about NASCAR for a second. I used to watch NASCAR as a child, literally just for the crashes. And I know I'm probably going to hell for that. My dad would call me into the living room if there was a crash, and I would be literally unimpressed if there wasn't cars flipping and on fire. If it was a crash where a car kind of like swerved and hit the wall and spun out a little bit and no other cars hit it, my dad would call me in and I'd be like, why'd you even, why am I here? This is, is everybody alive? Everybody's fine. I don't know why I'm watching this. But if it was a wreck where cars were flipping and they were like, okay, we gotta stop everything. We gotta count the bodies. What happened here? That is the type of NASCAR I wanna see. When NASCAR starts retrofitting weapons onto their cars, I'm gonna be so much more savvy to watching NASCAR. But up until that point, I am not really down for watching cars go in a circle, especially if there's no police chase happening. Like. If you play Need for Speed, that's what I want to see. I want to see Fast and Furious. I don't want to see just, you know, after 10 laps, a car passed another car. Not for me. The reason that baseball is my favorite sport is because every play in baseball seems significant. You only get three outs per inning. Therefore, every single player matters. Every single hit matters. Every single out matters. Every single strike, every single ball, everything has me on the edge of my seat waiting to see what is going to happen next. And that's why I like baseball. I can understand why people would want to watch sports ball games. For me personally, I feel like I have to actually be physically there watching the game. Watching them on TV just seems a lot less exciting. You're not in the atmosphere of it all. If you've hated sports your whole life, you know, maybe give it a shot. Maybe there's a hobby there that you didn't know you even had. And the reason that I'm making this recommendation is because so often I recommend video games to people. I say there's a video game for you no matter who you are, no matter what age you are, there's a video game for you. And I think it was about time that I started giving the same chance to sports ball. So let me know what you guys think. Do you still hate sports ball? Do you love sports ball? Do you think that I'm a total noob for finally getting on the sports ball train? You can give me a like. If you also like sports ball or just think my face isn't totally ugly, you can share with your friends and you can argue about sports ball things. You can hit that there subscribe button if you'd like to see more things like this and me talking to you via camera on the internet. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love ya. I will catch you next time.